query string and URL resource parameters are two methods to send information and data to the server through this uniform resource identifier, this URL, right? In this video, we will discuss the differences between a query string and a resource parameter, and we will dive deep into coding. Uh, right from scratch we're gonna build an application from scratch to use the two and how how basically you can build something like that all right coming up all right guys uh, what's up y'all this is Hussein Nasser from iGeometry where we discuss software engineering by example and and you if you're new to this channel welcome thank you very much for watching this video uh, we discuss a lot of software engineering topic in this channel so if you want to become a better software engineer uh, consider subscribing and take a look at the content of this channel all right guys with that let's just jump into it okay so uh, let's start with the resource parameter so if you if you're familiar with twitter for example here uh if you go to twitter.com slash the name right of the user for example my, my twitter handles hnasr here so that uh, by itself is the resource right the username is a resource you can perform operations with this resource like you can edit a user picture you can edit the name right things like think uh, think of it as an object right and you can add it as a resource and for that just by adding in this way you can just uh, divide it in a very logical way for example give me all the media for this user right slash media so it's a very nice way to very nicely divide it and you can easily market it like you know you say a lot of marketing on in the tv you can say oh go to this blah 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 dot com slash marketing or something like that so it's easy to type right if you think about it right and you can perform operation however not everything can fit as a resource right so for example um video like if you, if you want to watch a certain video yeah you, you can do it in, the, in this matter on youtube right so they have a watch resource and they send this question mark and then i'm pretty much i'm pretty sure you saw this like while while navigating the web right so you can put the v variable equal and then this is the id of this video in this case right so youtube decided to say hey, it doesn't fit uh, as a resource this video id right for any reason really and uh, we decided to put it as a query string another uh, obvious reason here is for example if I search for anything in Google right you can notice like they have all this big query string and I'm interested in and in, for example the start parameter right so let's look for that parameter do you find it guys I can't find it so the start parameter is actually the page right so my resource in this case is search but if I go to page number two see I am starting from number 10 so the page 10 right is that it so page 2 is actually the number 10 I think it's the, the number of results so if I type 20 here I just switch to page 3 right so that's another way you can actually use the query part and there are obviously other stuff here that Google sent in order to track my my search really what I'm searching about but in general so as you can search uh, you cannot really put this I mean you could but you cannot put it it doesn't look as good if you put it as a resource string like the page number nothing stopping you from doing that but that's the that's there is right you can do it this way or this way nothing wrong with both but whatever depends on how we're building your rest API essentially right with that let's just jump into coding here guys so we're gonna explore uh, the two methods here to build something like that and also something like that so we're gonna build we're gonna build maybe something like that right so search and Q equal test right so we'll build a quick web server using node.js and uh, and uh, express and uh, we'll build something like that as well right so let's start with this right how about that guys we'll go to my uh, terminal here let's make this slightly bigger and we'll go to web apps i'll create a new folder here what, what, what is this this is a uh, query string let's call it qs right so this is a qs we create a new folder and uh, i'm gonna create a new index.js file and that will be my web server right and i'm gonna create a new app require express guys i'm gonna go quickly here 
Uh, I'm gonna reference a video that we made to explain how you spin up a quick web server and details about that. So I'm just like quickly gonna write this code. So you just like spin up a, an app express uh, app and then when someone sends a git command, again guys, I'm gonna reference a video that uh, explain the git versus post. We, we do a lot of videos in this channel, so I pretty much try to cover as much software engineering topics as possible. All right, so uh, check out the git versus post uh, uh, video there. All right, and if someone visited the page slash users, right, I, I want the page to be slash users, slash the username, right? For example, uh, here will be the name, like Hussein or, or, or Bob or Adam, right? So if you wanna build a resource parameter, you start with this, colon, and then you say user or just you, right? That's your variable right there, okay? And you say, when someone executes this, right? When someone send me that get URL, I want you, to go ahead and execute this function. That's a JavaScript function. And when someone does that, I'm gonna respond with, hello, the username, right? Hello, and then guess what? You. But the you is part of the parameter. So you would do resource, which is, uh, I'm sorry, the request, right that's part of the request because we're sending a request so whatever part of the request and response is whatever part of the response right this is part of the request so request.params is these parameters and then guess what dot you these are just simple objects and with that i think we are done we just go ahead and listen to port 8080 or any other port and when this is done you say console.log hey i'm listening 8080 and then I think I'm done here and then we do npm init we just initialize this page right everything is all good and no dot to execute that node.js file and that's it with that I think we are almost done we just need to install express because we just used it right guys so npm install express takes a second and then just like that, npm test, and wait, hey, I'm listening to port 8080. So let's just go ahead and run this thing. HP localhost 8080 slash users, right? Slash same. And then, as you can see, hello, Hussein. We should have probably put a space there or something. Let's just do it this way. All right, so yeah, we should have put a space there. All right, so that's how basically you got the resource. Uh, parameter. So let's explore the other option where we're gonna build something like Google, where we're gonna search, right? And uh, obviously, guys, you can uh, take that parameter and do some stuff with it, right? Uh, take uh, you would you want, for example, to query the database, pull the user information, and then display it for the user, for example, right? So if I if someone visited this page, search, right? You only you have to do this, right? You do request resource, same thing. You don't need to add anything here because the user will add those parameters for you. And you, what do you, what do you do in a study? You same thing. Hello, you just searched for, and then what did you search for? So let's assume the parameter that the user typed here is Q, right? So you do Q dot I mean, uh, request dot the query string. So this is another object. And instead of params, you do query and then the variable name, right? Or the object name, which is in this case, I'm assuming you know what to send here, right? The client should know what to send. In this case, I'm sending Q, right? And do that, do that. And I think we are done here, right? NPM test. So now, if I do this, right, hello user Hussein, but if I do slash search, obviously says, hello, you search for undefined <laughs> because you did not send the Q parameter, right? So the Q by default was undefined because that's the default initialization for JavaScript. And then uh, we'll just display it undefined. So what you wanna do is I'm searching for test and then 
guess what? Hello, you just search for test. So that's how you build a uh, very simple, very quickly. Uh, you build a query string versus a URL parameter. Both have their advantages and disadvantages. Advantages. I, I don't see any difference really. I mean, I prefer this approach. If you ask me, it looks better. But sometimes you really need to use the query parameters, right? Because uh, uh, especially if, if you if your resource doesn't fit as a resource, if you think like a search. I mean, nothing's stopping you from doing search test, right? I mean, you can do this, but it doesn't, is not a resource per se. Test is not a resource, you, it's, a, it's a search parameter. If you, ha you have to think about your API in, in, a, in a way that is uh, architecturally makes sense. Right, guys? With that, guys, that is all for us today. Again, guys, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. Take a look at the other content of this channel and to become a better software engineer. And if you have, guys, any questions, put them in the comments below. And then I'm going to see you in the next one. You guys stay awesome.